Well, you're going to have to talk into the mic. Oh. <laughs> Careful, these things will jump out and get you. Yeah, I think I just broke my knee. <laughs> That's not good. It's a good thing you don't play tennis. So, but, so Coach Bramlett, welcome to the show. You are our uh, Texas legend for tennis, as we labeled you when we hired you. Yeah, and I think you coined that. <laughs> <laughs> How has uh, life been treating you so far prior to the uh, season starting? Oh, it's been nice. It's been a, been a nice break. We, we had a busy fall, but uh, it, it's always a nice off season and able to decompress, do a little bit of recruiting, and and uh, prepare for the spring. Before we jump into it, I want to say hi to. Uh, Dylan Bethay and Tyler Day joining in on Facebook Live. And then we had a comment from Columbia on Periscope. So somebody in Columbia was watching the ETBU Tigers. So thank you. So, uh, Coach Bramlett, um, how did your holiday break go? Did you get a nice time, downtime to relax with the family and, and not really think about tennis yet? Yeah, it's nice to just clear your head uh, to not think about tennis and watch a little bit of football and and uh, I try not to even watch any tennis to tell you the truth. I've I've actually broke down watch a little bit of Australian Open here the last couple of evenings, but mm -hmm. uh, I try not to even watch any tennis because I know I'm going to be seeing tennis balls in my sleep here pretty soon. <laughs> I saw an article the other day that uh, the tennis industry is still very thankful for the Williams sisters and what they're doing for tennis overall. Oh, they're they're great for U.S. tennis. That, that's for sure. I can't believe they're still going strong at age. What are, I mean, they got to be thirty four, thirty five years yeah, old. I'd say it, so, yeah. Yeah, we got three three Americans in the uh, semifinals of the U.S. Open on the women's side, and uh, I mean, we still probably got a ways to go on the on the men's side. But the the women are doing great. We're, we're still looking for that that uh, that next Grand Slam uh, champion. I think the last Grand Slam champion we had maybe was Andy Roddick, and. and uh, on the U.S. Open, that, that's going back a while. It's been a while, yeah. Yeah, it really has. One one of my former students, actually. <laughs> yeah, we our uh, coaches show isn't long enough to talk about all the stories that you have with the people that you know in tennis, and just those West Texas stories. And even one time got to meet Martina Navrantalova, and you played against her, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I got to practice with her. Yeah, I trained with her uh, for two weeks, tried to g help get her ready for the U.S. Open. and uh, She she lost to Tracy Austin in the finals that year. And, and then, So that was the last time you trained with her, right? Yeah, she didn't ask me to train with her anymore <laughs> after that. She, she actually asked my uh, doubles partner to be her coach, Craig Carden, who, who I just saw uh, is coaching uh, Co uh, Coco Vandeway now. Uh, I did not realize so that. So needless to say, our Texas legend has a lot of uh, connections in tennis, so you need to come play for Jeff Bramlett. Especially right? if you're good, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Coach, uh, talk a little bit about uh, your newcomers this year as you bring them in for the men's and women's team and how they will help mold your teams that you have already. Oh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're excited about it. We, we had a lot of success last year getting to the, the finals of the um, women's and the semifinals of, of the men. We got a lot of... Uh, we got you know two good transfers, uh, actually three. I mean, if you count T Tess Willis, you know she's going to be working on uh, gaining her eligibility, and and then uh, we got Kaylee Smith, we got Andrew Deutsch, uh, got uh, some really good freshman boys that are going to work on on um, gaining one of those top six spots. Joseph Salinas, John Hur, Ty Tarver, probably all looking at starting uh, right now on the girl side at least. Uh, at least uh, Kendall is probably going to uh, be starting for us this weekend. Uh, we've also got um, uh, uh, Schneck. Ashley Schneck will be uh, starting for us. Um, so we, we, we've got a lot of new faces in there. They're just doing a great job for us, and, and that will only uh, add to our success. How excited are you to uh, get the season going on Saturday here at home? Uh, tough matches, though, but how excited are you to get the season rolling here uh, on your home courts here in Marshall. Oh gosh, it seems like it's going to be forever before we get on the home courts. I, I don't. I think our first home match is February 16th, so we're actually going on the road this weekend. I thought you were home this weekend. I, uh, boy, I read. Uh, I hope not, because we're not going to be here. I, I really, <laughs> Maybe I read it wrong. Yeah, I really messed up. If uh, if if we're in Abilene and uh, oh, Martin Simmons and McMurray are here, bad. that would be. Yeah. <laughs> right on the SID. <laughs> yeah, no, it's hard to keep up with so many schedules. But yeah, we're actually traveling to Abilene yet again, and we're going to be up there again 
against uh, Harden, Simmons, and McMurray. So you start out with the road, and we just lost our backdrop. Live television, that's what it's all about. So. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah that, right there. I'm, I'm used to it. Stuff like that happens to me all the time. <laughs> it, it's, it's because I'm on the show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll blame it on Jeff oh, Brown. Who, who agreed with me over that, there? That would be Coach Hamilton. Oh, that was uh, Edsel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I figures. But, yeah, we got a tough start to the schedule. Harden-Simmons, uh, gosh, I think they're ranked uh, 12th in the region. We're 10th in the women. McMurray's 14th. Uh, on the men's, I, I believe they're 18th and 19th, respectively. So we couldn't ask for a tougher start to the season. Mm -hmm. Plus, traveling all the way out to Abilene, we'll probably be in the middle of a dust storm. Be freezing cold, but but um, be a good way to toughen up our gang. So uh, with your teams now and the newcomers, you're supposed to make a run to be in the top tier of the American Southwest Conference again this year. It's gonna it, be difficult, as we we've, we've talked on the side that you know UTD has a team that's very very good on the women's side, uh, and on the men's side, UT Tyler looks to make a run again. But you've got teams poised to challenge them this year for a chance to continue to be in the top tier and push forward for those American Southwest Conference championships. Oh, definitely, definitely. We we I mean, one, you know, 4 years ago we started, we were at the bottom tier and now, you know, we, last year we finished in the top tier and uh, you know, it's just, of course, it's it's tougher to maintain that. We're looking to maintain that, and and then our group would like to get to the next level and and you know actually win a conference title. And that that's what we're shooting for. And I know a lot of people thought with Kayla Casey graduating that that uh, we wouldn't be as strong this year, but uh, we won six out of the nine events with, with the ASC, mm -hmm. and and then our men actually made a big jump and won a, a couple of the titles at the ITA tournament this fall, and and uh, we had several quarterfinal finishes uh, on the women's side. So. So we're we're hoping to make the uh, next jump. Certainly want to maintain the level that we were at last year. We we don't want to take any steps back. And and this will be your fourth year, fourth spring coaching them, correct? Fourth spring, yes. It's yeah. hard to believe. You know, yeah. time flies when you're having having fun. And, and so four years ago, compared to now, world of difference in your programs. Yeah, just, just a world of difference. It, it, yeah, you can't certainly can't be my coaching. I, I just got to give all glory <laughs> to God on that. It, it, I mean, just got a great group of kids and tremendous support uh, support here at ETBU. So it's it's been a been a fun ride. It's been a blur, certainly. You had to have a little bit of a effect on it. Oh, I, I'd hope. You know, maybe a little bit. I'd like to think I have a little bit of <laughs> influence. And then with last year, the success you had with the women's team put you guys on the map nationally, where people are knowing who. ETBU is, you know, nationally ranked for a couple weeks. Uh, Kayla Casey going to the individuals for the NCAAs, won the Southwest Regional in the fall, uh, and then uh, some of your players did well last year and this year in the fall in the ITAs. So is, is it fun to see the progress of the program over the last four years to see where it's at right now in your fourth year? Yeah, yeah, it really is. It really is. With us having knocked off the uh, number 23 ranked uh, team in the country last year and, and to ascertain that, that national ranking, uh, that, that, that was huge. I mean, we only had it for a couple of weeks. So we went on a spring break trip and lost to Gustavus Adolphus and, and uh, then lost our national ranking. But, uh, you know, I, I still regarded our team as one of the top teams in, in the country. We, you know, we just narrowly lost to UT Tyler 5-4 uh, in the conference round robin. We were we were just right there, and I think we only had four or five losses last year, mm -hmm. and they were all two nationally ranked teams, yeah. and they were all very, very close matches, the losses that we had. So um, it used to be when I'd go on recruiting trips or talk to tennis players, so they had not heard about uh, of East Texas Baptist, but we're, we're fairly well known now. You know, Starting to make a name. Yeah, people are approaching us now and saying that they'd like to come and be the, a part of the, the program. The Texas legend is making a difference. Oh, I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> we're, 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 we're trying, and these these kids are, are making a big difference. So, you know, i got to give them a lot of credit, and they're, they're a lot of fun. It's fun watching them grow each and every day. And, not just as tennis players, but but as uh, as as people, the discipleship and the mentoring that you do with the program. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it, it's fun watching them in the Bible studies and and uh, in the community service and and you know and in ten, you know with the tennis, it, it all it all goes together. And they've won the team GPA uh, five years in a row with the on the on the women's side and and uh, the you know our men uh, they're they're. They're uh, doing a good job in the classroom as well. So it, it, it all goes hand in hand. All right, Coach. Thanks for talking to us this week. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate luck. you uh, having safe. me on the show. And, Heading and out to Abilene. And 
Yeah, uh, that's a, that's kind of kind of home for you. Yeah, that's a, that's a home kind. If I just kept going about three more hours, I'd I'd be in uh, Midland where where I grew up. So uh, that, that's, that's we'll say hello to Abilene for me, as I always enjoy going out to West Texas when I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love it out there. Not not everybody sees the charm of it that uh, you and that's I do. That's right. It's, that's it's right. Some good uh, good, good folks good out there. Good folks. Good eating. Uh, and lots of wind. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully not so much. <laughs> this, I, I'm not sure my, my team would understand how to play in it like those right. uh, Harden Simmons and McMurray people do. Yeah. It's a yeah. great equalizer. All right, Coach. Well, good luck this weekend, and thanks for talking to us here on Lunch with Ledyard. All right. Well, thank you.